Hey there, Ride the Car Guy here, and today we're gonna take the 300 from this to this. Should be a relatively straightforward job, so let's just jump right into it and I'll show you how to get it done. You wanna start by removing the body panel clips off of the top fascia behind the grill. And uh, there are eight of them, and you can just take a little flathead screwdriver, push it underneath the top, lift it up, and then you can pull each clip out. Be sure to have some extra of these around because they're likely to break when you take them out. Next, behind the bumper inside of each wheel well, you'll see another two clips that need to get removed. Remove those as well and set them aside. Now above the two body clips you just removed, there's a 10 millimeter bolt that needs to get removed. And this is also on both sides. So remove those and then continue to the next step. Next, there are eight seven millimeter bolts on the bottom side of the bumper that are holding it all in place. You need to remove those and then the bumper should start feeling pretty loose. And then you wanna get some cardboard or something that you wanna set on the ground. And that way, when you start to take the bumper off, you have a place to set it that isn't concrete or asphalt. Next, you wanna start at the top and just start gently pulling the whole bumper away from the vehicle. Make sure that you have your cardboard ready Start popping that off, there we go. And same on the sides, just very gently, there we go, that's released. And then just hold it up so it doesn't fall off on you. We'll just sort of, there we go, dang. Okay. So you're gonna have electrical connectors in here. You have lights and you have sensors. So very gently, Pull it away and set it down on the cardboard. If you're alone, you can grab a bungee cord and just kind of hold it in place while you take off the electrical connector that holds this all on. There's just one electrical connector and it's on the passenger side right behind the bumper. You'll see it because it's the only thing left connected. And uh, it's just a standard connector that you just push down on with your finger and then you can start sliding out. There you go. So now the bumper is fully disconnected from the car. Then we can kind of roll it forward and start taking the grill out. Once you're ready and everything's disconnected, just uh, have something prepared to roll the uh, bumper onto. If you have like a blanket, that's probably preferred, but you can use something like cardboard. Just make sure that once you roll it forward, you're not spinning it or sliding it on this surface because you will end up scratching the bumper. Now the top of the grill is really easy to access. You have a screw here, a screw here, and then just some simple clips, but the bottom is not so much. So I'm actually gonna remove this center piece, this lower grill, and then that way we'll have access to the bottom of our top grill. Start by just removing the cables out of the track all the way down the top of this. Then you'll see a few simple clips that are holding this all in place. You can just push those back and then pull this whole assembly off. Now we have the full grill exposed. So we just have two simple screws right here. Those are just Phillips heads. So one on the upper left and one on the upper right. Just remove those and then you just have some clips all the way around that you need to kind of push out and then push the grill right through the front of the bumper. Once you have those uh, starting to loosen, you can just start pushing the grill through the front of the bumper and uh, each one will kind of start to cascade and start come out a little easier. The next thing we need to tackle is the emblem. The emblem does not come with a new grill, at least it didn't with mine. So I just took the uh, outer grill, kind of the grill trim off. That's just a few clips around the outside. You shouldn't have to um, take that trim off to uh, get to this. I just did it so you can see it here. To get the emblem off, there's uh, six different clips that need to come out, and then that whole emblem should slide right out. 
All right, so the emblem's out. Pretty simple, just a few clips. And now we can move this to the new grill and get the new grill installed onto the bumper. So I'm pretty irritated at the moment. I went to install the grill and uh, it didn't fit. It was the wrong size. Uh, basically it was curved too much and it didn't fit the contour of the bumper. Um, also, once I started installing it, I realized that it showed up broken. So I'm gonna go find a new one, get it shipped to me, hopefully quickly, and then we will continue the job. So we have our new and substantially better grill uh, that came in today, just a few hours ago. And now all we need to do is put our emblem on it, have that installed, and then just install it onto here. This one actually has studs and uses a, a nut system. So it doesn't snap into place. We just put, are gonna put it through the regular screw holes and then we're just gonna tighten it down with nuts on the back side. Once that's done, it's just putting it all back together. Now installing the emblem itself should be very easy. You just have some holes and some slots that you just need to line up the pegs on the emblem with and snap it in place. There we go. Line everything up. Excellent. There you go, that's it. So now that that's installed, we just need to get this onto the bumper and then the bumper back onto the car. Now in the case of the grill that I bought, you have two uh, kind of holes where we're gonna put screws through, and those need to slide into the old slots that the clips used to go into. So you wanna do the bottom first, and then the sides, and then eventually your studs at the top. Now I just went ahead and laid this down to show you. Uh, this is where the top uh, studs come through and then we're just going to tighten those down and then you just have a few pieces right here where you actually have to drill through the bumper and uh, put a screw in and then it screws into uh, like a little plate here like this little plate that will hold everything else in place now um, you just want to be careful make sure the grill is exactly where you want it to be kind of push it into place before you drill these holes um, because if you drill the hole in the wrong place and then screw it in, your grill might be kind of set out from the, uh, from the actual bumper and that's the opposite of what we want. So here we go. We have our uh, new fresh grill, freshly installed and ready to go back onto the vehicle. Now from this point, it's just uh, the reverse order of what we did before. My only suggestion for the reinstallation is that you set up the, the top of the bumper first up in the engine bay and maybe even put in a few of those pins we removed from the beginning and make sure the top is lined up and then kind of work your way down and then just put those screws in, in the bottom and you are all set. If you liked this video, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe for more content like this, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching.